Check one, two, everybody. Are you guys here with me, man? We just we just sitting here getting everything set up for you guys for tonight's commentary, man. But uh, it's been a, I, I'm not gonna say it was a long day today. It didn't get long to, until I got into Kentucky on I-71 heading towards Ohio. I have a load that's uh that that came up from alabama that's going back to ohio but i gotta switch out with another driver that's coming to get this load to go ahead and finish it out while i will take his load back down south you know probably get some more you know probably get some more miles because once I get back down there, I'm going to accumulate the miles that's going to take me back down to where I need to drop this off at. For what I understand, it's like an ASAP load or something like that. So when I get there, I would get another load that'll bring me right back up to Ohio so I can go ahead and reset for my days off, man. Look, trucking, it is what it is in trucking, man. I got uh some more videos in store for you guys that's um that's going to talk about trucking a little bit more i want to today i want to seriously commend trucker brown on his show today man because uh what the, the information that i caught i mean he was hitting he was hitting all cylinders especially on uh on trucking today and it, it it touched a lot of points that i was gonna that I, that i already talked about and that i am going to talk about in into the future because i told you guys by february 7th 2022 i told you guys to get your license right i told you guys that y'all better have your license before uh before february 7th 2022 because the fmcsa is going to change the way that you guys get your license but um if you do, if you don't have it by then if you get it now get up off your butt and get it now because the point that uh tb made today was a very good point i'm not going to stay on it because i want to make it an independent video but i do want to get my thought on it right quick while it's still fresh in my memory so he explained that without your cdls what what where are you going to make that kind of money at right i've been saying that for a long time where, where are you going to make that kind of money at you know i mean back in the day i you know i i, I hit everything from from the restaurants to uh, warehouses, late day labor, out labor, I did it all, you know, in, in, in my youngin'. And I ain't like neither one of them. You know, I ain't like neither one of them. It wasn't until I got, you know, I, I got the entrepreneurial spirit to open up my stores that I did back in the day i liked it that i liked it doing what i wanted to do i liked it, the freedom and the money that came with it with that said i used the money that i made from my stores and i built it into another business and that was the roadside business did very well with that for about seven years seven eight years i did very well with that then i got the bug the trucking bug all right. Actually, I've been had the bug back in the day, but just like Trucker Brown said, nobody wasn't calling. Nobody wasn't calling. I mean, every interview when I was interviewing, looking for a job and all like that, I had to put on the I had to put on the nice suit and tie and and the grandpa shoes and and go out there and and do they 101 personality tests to see if I was a good fit with the company. And then I would have to sit down with not just one, not just two, but three people 
that interviewed me. I had to interview with the manager. Then I had to interview with the floor manager. Then I had to interview with the with the manager or the line manager. I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, getting in Nestle was a job in itself. You know what I'm saying? And I, I did get into Nestle, but I'm just saying, getting in there was a job in itself. I had to go back, I had to go back again and again and again. And then I had to I had to do a, a physical this, that, and the third. Crazy, right? But in trucking, all you had to do is get your CDL. And then boom, once you got your CDL and you put your name out there in driver pulse, you put your name out there in the trucking groups, you put your name out there in in uh indeed and all like that and then boom you got all these companies calling you hey uh we we saw your application for uh a trucking job and we see that you got your cdls are you still looking for a job why yes i am well we can offer you this this that and the third now you being the new guy coming up in the game you're going to be like oh okay all right well yeah. Okay. I like that. Let's let's do it. Then when you get then when you get to that company or something like that, it, it turns out to be it turns out to be nothing. But now that you got your CDLs, you're able to maneuver a little bit more. Not only that the company's calling you, but you could call the company and say, yo, I got my CDLs. What can you offer me? Oh, well, we can offer you this, this, that, and the third. Man, good show today, Trucker Brown. For real, for real. All right, so, yo, this uh, commentary for tonight is, is more of a reaction because I got four, I got three videos that I need you guys to take a look at, and I got one post that I need you guys' opinion on. Need you to... You know, I need you to engage. Where was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we about to start the commentary. Let's go. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Lockout Man back again with another commentary for you this evening. This commentary is more so of a reaction, I guess, because I really need to know you guys' reaction on these three videos. Uh, one of them is like 40 seconds, and I think the other two is like 30 seconds, but it's prevalent enough to, to spark a reaction engage with me guys let me know what you guys think yo if you like content like this and more all i just want you to do is to hit that like button number one it is free number two it helps out the channel as well as the video it does work if i get about 50 views hook me up with 25 lights let youtube know that you're rocking with me but you know youtube it is what it is with youtube all right yo um so let's 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 get into it. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with this post that I saw on Facebook. And it really, really, really touched a nerve. And um, and I want to see if it touched a nerve for you guys, too. Um, I'm not sure if this was sent from Swift or anybody of this matter, but I need to know what you guys you know, like veteran drivers, you know, the new Jack drivers, y'all probably might get a fleet manager that gets a little flippy at the mouth and thinks that they can just, you know, just do you any kind of way. See, we're veteran drivers. We're not gonna let that happen. I'm just saying, there's too many companies out here that's looking for drivers for you to just stay at a company that's just blatantly disrespecting you. All right, let's start off with this right here. All right, this right here. This was on. This was on somebody's Qualcomm. All right, and if you guys don't know what a Qualcomm is, it's the digital computer that's uh, that you can get your messages and and uh, and your uh, ELD is on here. All right, so let's go ahead and read what's what's on this Qualcomm. So right here, it says. 
fleet message company drivers, right? We have recently had trouble with sending drivers home for their reset and they don't return right after they're 34. Just remember that going home for your day off is a privilege. A privilege? Are you serious? Who, whoever, whoever wrote that need to be slapped? What? Slap! 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 Ain't, ain't no privilege to go home. Yo, if I, if, if I need to go home for whatever reason, I need to go home. Now, the, the 34 reset is really not enough time to, to do anything. It, it really isn't, especially if you're a driver that goes home on the weekend. You really can't take care of no business. You can't take care of no bills. You can't do nothing around the house. You can't even spend time with your family for 34 hours. Technically, you're going to be asleep for the first 10, and then you're going to get ready uh, for that 24. You, you're pretty much going to get ready to go. That's not enough time, you know, especially if you come home on a Friday, you come home on a Friday, you off Saturday and you back out Sunday. It's not enough time, man. It's not enough time. You, you need, you, you need like a full two days off, like come in Saturday off. Uh, I mean, come in Friday or Saturday morning off Saturday, off Sunday, and then you back on the clock Monday. That's that's how it's supposed to be, but it's not like that in trucking. You know, technically, you know, technically you're supposed to, you know, like have at least two full days off. But with these trucking companies, they consider your 34 hour reset is your days off. And that's really especially on a weekend. It's really not enough time to do anything. Maybe maybe uh, Thursday. Friday, maybe you're able to take care of some bills and stuff like that. You may able to go to your dentist appointment or whatever, whatever. But for somebody to to blatantly write some disrespectful stuff like this and say that it's a privilege, hell no. They say, yo, if you don't uh, come back after your 34, like right after, like the minute after your 34 is up and, and, and you don't come back to, you, you don't come back to be available. They're going to take it from you. They're going to say, we're going to keep you out for three weeks and, 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 and bring you home for one day or a couple of days. We're going to keep you out. We ain't going to send you home weekly. We're not, we're not obligated to, to send you home weekly. Let me, let me tell you, you it's word games. You got to you got to read between the words. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by that is yeah. You're home weekly. That does not mean that you're home on the weekends. You may get home on the weekend, you may get home on a weekday. You know, it could be Friday, I mean it could be Saturday, Sunday, it could be fr uh Thursday, Friday, it could be Wednesday, Thursday, hell, it could be Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday. That's home weekly. See, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to the word games. So when you ask a recruiter, you say, hey, um, am I home weekly? No, 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 no. You don't ask them that. Don't ask them that. You ask them, is you home on the weekends? Get home. Friday or Saturday morning, you're off all day Saturday, you're off all day Sunday, and you back on the clock Monday. Because that's how I was with my previous company. They they would give me a load on Friday, or they'd give me a load to get me back home on Friday that delivers wherever wherever Monday morning in Cleveland somewhere. That's that's how my home weekends work. I, I pick up a load in Illinois either at the yard and I will bring it home with me 
and you know I'll you know put my trailer in my secure lot I'll bobtail home then I'm off you know Saturday Sunday then I bobtail back to my trailer hook up and then deliver at whatever time I needed to deliver Monday morning now that's how some companies will do whoever written that needs that's that's just blatant disrespect and I it it's 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 like that it really is you you got some disrespectful fleet managers that does that type of stuff so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that uh think of this post right here um i'll read it again uh it says uh day off it starts at the starts at the top says uh we recently had trouble with sending drivers home for their reset and they and they don't return right after they're 34 just to remember that going home for your day off is a privilege wow a privilege mm. It says, uh, we are not required to send you home weekly. If you continue to do this, we will keep you out for three weeks at a time. The decision is yours. Thanks. Well, I, I could tell you right now, uh, the decision is going to be um, look for uh, another trucking company. Because there's way too many companies out here that's looking for drivers for you to just stay at this particular company that's really disrespecting you. I'm just saying. Moving on. So guys, I, 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 need, I need you guys. I, I need you guys to watch this video. And, and I, I need to know what would you do in this situation. So you go in the bathroom and somebody left a wallet in the stalls or on the sink or whatever the case may be and uh it's filled with money lots and lots of money you see the wallet what would you do in this situation right here what would you do if you see that type of wallet right there look at that we we looking at about what hundreds 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 at least at least a couple of grand in there what's what's that right there twenties hundreds at least a couple of grand right what would you do what would you do if would you return it would you do the would you do the right thing and return it would you do the right thing <laughs> and return it So they found this wallet in the bathroom. My, probably might have been a truck stop. Of course it's a truck stop. And naturally, this is a trucker because you could tell that's his license right there. He has uh, all, all, all of his stuff in there. Everything. Everything. Let, let me stop. Stop. Let me stop. All right. Let me, let me stop right there. All right. Number one, you don't put everything in your wallet no more all right you don't do that this is the new millennial i used to have a wallet like that and i used to have a lot of stuff in there but i didn't keep I, number one I, I don't keep that amount of money on me period period that's that amount of money right there just begging for somebody to follow you over to the over to your truck bust out a window, crack you upside your head and 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 steal your money. You don't you 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 don't do that. But what you do is get yourself the ridge wallet right here. Ridge wallet. Compact, couple of dollars on the back and 
and a couple of credit cards, you know, and, and your driver's license. Just uh, just just slide it up just like this. Fan through what you need. A uh, couple of dollars. What what I got right here? What what I got? I don't. I got a, I got a couple of dollars right here, you know, and that's it. That's it. I also got now. If I lose this wallet, I can instantly find it because of the because of the of the tracker that I have in there. This is the tracker. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Wait, well, y'all y'all hear it? My my phone's turned off, so that's why it's not connected. But if I if I ring it on my phone. This will ring and I can hear it and I can find it. The Ridge Wallet, y'all. Make sure that y'all go to RidgeWallet.com. They got like over 30 wallets, 30 designs. I, you know, this ain't even a wallet. It's actually a card holder and a money clip. But it's the new millennial, so they call this the Ridge Wallet. There's a brand new Ridge Wallet, which I will probably be getting that soon too, called the Carbon Ice. It's just like the carbon, it's just like the carbon amber, as you guys can see, can it? Can you focus? Can y'all see that? Right there? The carbon amber, that design. The it, the other one is like the ice design or something like that. Then there's the the money clip on the back. So, so yeah, the ridge wallet. Make sure y'all get it. Ridge wallet. But anyway, um, back back to this video. What would you guys do, man? I mean, y'all see a wallet. Nine times out of ten, <laughs> people will take the money and just give back the wallet because you know if if you find a, if you find a wallet with some credit cards, if you don't use the credit cards right away, then nine times out of ten. The credit cards is going to be turned off because now you can turn the credit cards off on your phone. You can go to the website, Discover Card or whatever credit cards that you have, and you could just do 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 and turn them off on the website. So, if you have a if like me, I don't have that many credit cards. I, I got a I got a couple of debit cards. I got my Amazon card, and that's about it. I don't even know why I got my Amazon card because, you know, I just ordered my stuff on Amazon and it automatically knows my card. I don't even know why I got it on me. So as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and take that card out and and leave it at home because I really don't need it. I'm just saying. But again, man, guys, what what would you do, man? What, what would y'all do if if you saw this? If you saw this in the bathroom, would y'all would y'all give would y'all give the whole thing back and and kind of and kind of hope for a reward? I mean, think about it. You know, old boy might be like, give you a hundred dollars or something like that. Say thank you. I appreciate you giving me my wallet back and all like that. But what would you guys do though? Would you guys give it back, give it back with everything in there? <laughs> would you take the money out? and just give the wallet back <laughs> would you just or or would you just keep the whole thing and probably just take out his driver's license because he's going to need that just take out his driver's license and take it up to the counter and be like hey i found this driver's license in the bathroom i don't know who it is oh okay well we'll uh make the announcement Hey, do 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 do, and then you know do 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 do, not like that. Hey, um, you know somebody left their wallet. I mean, left their driver's license. Yada yada yada. Then you you know you come back in there and be like, excuse me, did somebody turn in the wallet? No, but somebody turned in your driver's license. Fuck. I had over a couple of grand in my damn wallet. But number, you no, know, number two, you don't you don't fucking leave that kind of money in your wallet why would you walk around with that kind of money in your pocket man that just screams knock a you know knock a out 
that's just screen. You know, people watch you. They, you, the streets is watching, bro. And you got that kind of money in your pocket for what? What do you do? What do you, what do you do that you don't have that kind of money put up in the bank somewhere? But I, I know a lot of you newfound truckers. Y'all want to come on Facebook and 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 show off. Yeah, look at all the money I got. Look at all the hundreds I got. Big deal. You end up losing your wallet like this dude did. Then what? Then what you gonna do? Then what you gonna do? You gonna be freaking crying? Oh, I lost my wallet. <laughs> I lost my wallet. I got my license, though, but I lost my wallet. But, you know, again, you do not put, you, you don't keep everything in your wallet. You just don't. This is, this is the new millennial. This ain't, this, ain't, this ain't grandpa times back in the day in the 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, where, where, where you keep your, your family photos and, and, and your social security number and, and and 10 20 40 50 cars in there you don't do that no more you don't do that no more you go get yourself a millennial wallet like the ridge keep about a couple of credit cards a couple of debit cards maybe a few dollars a few dollars and that's it that's it you know somebody take this you're able to turn off your credit cards do chick, do chick, do chick, and a couple of dollars, you you okay for losing because you get an advance every week. You know, let me get $150, please. Okay. But you don't you 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 don't put everything in in you, you, you don't do that. So I need you guys to comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about that video right there. Um, and what would you do? Would you just keep the money and give back the wallet? Or would you just keep the whole wallet? Or would you just, or would you give the whole wallet back and, um, and uh, probably, you know, probably get a reward? What do you, what do you think? Let me know. Moving on. So the next video that I got for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> oh my God. Dumb inner stuff. Dumb inner stuff. This, this, uh, I, I don't know what was going on. This, this video comes from a dash cam in a truck and it's only like 30, about 30 seconds or something like that. And it looks like a dude was trying to get away from somebody. I can't tell, but he tried to get a he tried to get across the street. He dodged the car. But he unfortunately, he didn't dodge the other car and to be <laughs> totally amazed that the dude survived this hit. Check it out. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. There he is about to run. There he is. Move. Move. Bow. Believe it or not, he actually survived. Hold on. We got to we got to see that again. man. Okay. Unfortunately, that car right there, that car didn't make it. <laughs> but he, guys, I mean, look at the M, look at the impact, like right here. Wait, let me see. Oh, it was already after. There we go. All right, so I, I don't know why he didn't, why he short stopped, but he should have just Superman dove across the street. So he missed this car right here. He missed that one. And unfortunately, this car right here, I mean, whatever. <laughs> you could say <laughs> this car knocked this block off, literally. 
<laughs> and he just got back up. He's like, yo, I'm good. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm good. But let's let's go to the beginning of the video. So this is him right here walking. That's him right there walking. Uh, looks like another dude try to try to grab him. And that's when he broke away from him right there. So it looked like he broke away from him. He 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 short stopped on that car. Then another car, he short stopped again. And then the white car tagged his butt and and literally knocked his block off. And I don't even think he came back down. Do you guys see if he came back down? Let me see. Hold on. Like right here. <laughs> Y'all see, I don't, th I don't think he came back down. <laughs> Whatever was knocked off of him <laughs> is still up in the air, man. So, <laughs> so you guys tell me what you guys think of that, man. <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 that's crazy. That is crazy. You know, you don't mess around on the highway and, Again, I, I'm I'm very surprised that that the guy was able to to pop up for starters and actually survive the hit. Except except for that white car right there, because the white car slid right off the road. So <laughs> guys, let me know what you think about about that one. Num you know, you look, you know, especially a two a two lane highway. It's already bad enough that you know try trying to go across the highway because I see some of the some of the worker guys that be out there they you know they 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 run across the highway you know clean up and then run right back that shit dangerous man so uh, imagine this two lane highway I uh, uh, you know again I am very surprised that the dude was able I mean the dude survived that. I mean, many people wouldn't have survived that. I mean, he would have got hit, dragged, and he would have been done, like right there. So when they say that God had his hand on him, yeah, God had his hand on him. He was like, God, that, that you know, that was God picking him up. You know, after he hit the ground and he popped back up, that was God reaching down and pulled him back up. He could put him back on his feet so he could walk across the street like nothing happened. Now I don't know about the about the other car, but what but what do you do? What, what what do you do or say in a situation like that when the cops come? Like, of course it's his fault. You know, I, I don't think I don't think the car that hit him. Is going to get in any any trouble because he darted in front of the car. So he's that that car really not going to get in trouble, you know. I mean, let them tell it. He came out of nowhere. He did a boom, and then God picked him up and he just walked right back across the street. Let me got guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, man. Yo, if you if you guys still with me, man, and y'all like content like this, you know, commentary on on stuff like this on videos that I find or or anything pertaining to trucking or anything like that, hit that like button. Hit that like button. It's free. About time y'all get to this point of the video maybe about what maybe about 30 views if i get 30 views about time that you get to this point in the video yo give me 15 likes all these trucks is parking right here on the side it's going to be real hard for us especially the trucks that's parked over in this far corner it's going to be real hard for them to for them to maneuver around these trucks that's parking in front of us i'm just saying but anyway, anyway, again, guys, let me let me know what you guys think about that video. And if you're at this point of the video, make sure that the lights is already up, man. Hook a brother up, man. They, YouTube really don't care about anything else, but they do care about the lights and the watch time. So about time you get to this point in the video, it should be good. It should be good. 
Well, I got one more video for you guys to check out. I need I, I need to let in the next video. I need I need to know who was in the room. Next video. All right. We're down to the last video. All right. We're almost at the end, y'all. And I appreciate you guys rocking with me to the end. And I appreciate you guys engaging with me on um on 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 what you have seen so far. You know? So far you guys seen a dude get hit and got picked up by the hand of God. Y'all seen somebody uh lose a wa a fat ass wallet with at least at least a couple of grand in there uh what would y'all do in that situation and then y'all know about that craziness from the qualcomm you know uh where some fleet manager do sent the sent to the drivers over here talking about that your home time is a privilege let me know what you guys think about all of that all right last video right here man this video right here I don't know who was in the room type of video. I'm going to say, is it the truck or the car? You guys let me know what you think. Who was in the room? All right, let's, let's see that again. Let, let, let's see that again. Let's, um, Let's see that one more time. Let's let's bring that to the forefront. And let's see that one more time. Who was in the wrong? Was it this truck right here or was it this car right here? Who was in the wrong? So let's go back. Let's, let's just analyze this for a minute. All right. Now, the view is obstructed. Okay. Maybe this truck right here the up up at the top maybe he should have slowed down because this truck right here was turning which was obstructing his view also the it was obstructing the car's view too the car that was coming out so this car right here is as coming into the frame all right it's coming into the frame he didn't, I guess he didn't see because his view was obstructed by this truck right here. Okay. So he's still coming out. But once that truck moved, do you think this car should have saw that truck right there and, and held up right quick? Now, this truck tried his best to, to, uh, to get out of the way. And then, boom, there's the connection. So who was in the wrong? Who, who was in the wrong? Was it, was it the truck or the car? In this situation, honestly, I'm, I'm going to try and say the car. Because at this point, the car tried to race across to make that turn before he got hit. That's what I'm going to say. Boom, right there. But of course, as always, we're truckers. You know, we gonna we 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 gonna be found at fault until the investigation is over with, and then we will be found not at fault. Was it an accident that could have been avoided? Maybe. I mean. Could have been a, it could have been avoided if the car didn't have dart out like it did. But I want to know from you guys who who was at fault? Was it the car or was it the truck? Let me know in the comments below, man. Was it the car? Was it the truck? Who was at fault? Let me know. All right, all right. That's gonna do it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, commentary for this evening. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, and I am here. I am here for you guys, the new jacks, the students, all you guys. If y'all interested in in anything trucking or anything that you want to know about, 
Hit me up in the comments below. Hit me up in the DM. Hit me up over at TikTok, Instagram. TikTok is Lockout Men Podcast. Instagram is Lockout Men. And of course, you can hit me up in the comments below. I would love to chop it up with you if you guys have any questions or anything like that or just want to come on and chop it up with me like some of my guests that came on. Uh, shout out to the guys that came on to talk to me, TBE, um, uh, Levi, uh, Curtis, Brandon, all you guys that, that, that came on to chop it up with me. I really do appreciate it. Y'all videos are coming soon. It's already set, already done. It's just going to have to come out. I'm changing up the algorithm because this is how I'm doing the uh, podcast and the channel now. And yo, y'all see Garfield right here? This is my man Garfield right here that's, that's, that's going through my green screen. That's so so nice so nice anyway again lockout men podcast here for you guys thank you very much if you like content like this and more hit that like button it is free if you want to show the channel support hit the subscribe button hit the join button and if you want to support it even more there's ways to support the channel in the comment i mean in the description below Yo, hook your brother up with some coffee, man. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a good night, good morning, good day, all that all that good stuff, and I will come back at you with another one. Peace. Whoever, whoever wrote that need to be slapped. What? Slap, slap, slap. Slap. Brian Little. <laughs>